Graphicara Hill University School of Pharmacy present this session for pharmaceutical organic chemistry. Today we will continue with Amin. I am Associate Professor Dr. Ahmad Nawaz Khan from School of Pharmacy. In the previous class, part 5, we have discussed the amines. What are amines? Amines, they are the derivative of ammonia in which there is a replacement of the NH with the NC bond. And they have similarities like ammonia, like basicity and nucleophilicity. There are two types, alkyl amines and aryl amines. When aromatic ring is bonded with the amine, it is known as aryl amine. When alkyl group is attached with the amine, it is known as alkyl amine. In the structure of amine, they are pyramidal in structure. And because of the nitrogen electronegativity, the both the carbon nitrogen and nitrogen hydrogen bond are polar in nature. In the physical properties of amines, these amines they are more polar than the alkene but less polar than the alcohol. They have higher boiling point than the alkanes, while they are less boiling point than the alcohols. Basicity of the amines in basicity of amine amines they are more basic than the analogous alcohol. Alkyl amines, they are more basic than the aryl amine. And that is because of the resonance. And amines, alkyl amines, they are basic, more basic than the analogous alcohol is because the nitrogen is a better electron donor than the oxygen. And that makes it more basic than the alcohol. So, these amines, they play a very important role in the survival of life. Actually, they involved in the creation of amino acids, building block of the proteins, which are there in every living being. And many of the vitamins, they are also built from the amino acids. Just like the serotonin, which is a neurotransmitter in the brain, it has a very main function in the brain, very important amine, which is there in the brain. And uh, just like it controls the feeling of hunger and it gives the state of happiness. In medicinal chemistry or in pharmaceutical sciences, these amines, they have a very important role. Just like the morphine, which is an analgesic, it contains the amine groups. Like novocaine, which is an anesthetic, it contains the amine group. They also control the pest in the or tanning of the leather. They also used in the application of manufacturing of man-made dyes. So now let's see that what are the preparations, how can we prepare these amines. Amines, they are prepared by the alkylation of ammonia, Gabriel synthesis, reduction of nitriles, reduction of amide, reduction of nitro compound, and reductive amination of aldehyde and ketones. And these are the most commonly used method for preparation of the amine. So now let's start one by one that how this carbon and nitrogen bond is formed and how the primary, secondary, tertiary and quaternary ammonium salt they are formed. So the first preparation is the alkylation of ammonia. So in this reaction, ammonia with alkyl halide, ammonia with alkyl halide, it leads to the formation of primary amines. And this primary amine that is formed can also react with the another alkyl halide, which is leads to the disubstituted amine and make the secondary amine. And that can further react to form the trisubstituted amine with the alkyl halide. Therefore, alkylation of ammonia is lead to a mixture of the product. Now actually what's happening here? That this primary amine, it compete with the ammonia to react with the alkyl halide. Why? Because here this primary amine, it is now acting as a nucleophile. So when it acts as a nucleophile, it compete with the ammonia and react with the alkyl halides and form the tertiary amine. This tertiary amine again compete with the ammonia 
and then react with the alkyl halide to form the this secondary amine it compete with the ammonia and react with the alkyl halide to form tertiary amine and that finally this alkylation of ammonia led to a mixture of product and this tertiary amine further compete with the ammon uh, ammonia and react with the alkyl halide to form the quaternary ammonium compound so this reaction this reaction basically is known as the ammonolysis and it is happened by heating the alkyl halide with alcoholic ammonia we use alcoholic ammonia in a sealed tube at a temperature of 373 kelvin and then a mixture of all these classes of amines are obtained together with quaternary ammonium salt also and then finally these mixture is separated by the fractional distillation or chemical separation when we talk about the ammonolysis of aryl halide when we want to prepare the aryl amines so the ammonolysis of aryl amine amines they can be brought only under the drastic conditions because these uh, aryl halides they have a low reactivity aryl halide these are alkyl halides but when we are preparing the aryl amines from the aryl halides so these aryl halide those aryl halide they are low reactivity so that's why the drastic conditions are required and for that we use the cuprous salt at 473 kelvin around temperature but this is this is the disadvantage also that although it is uh, it we can separate the all the amines by the uh, chemical separation method or fractional distillation method but this method is not as good as the other methods are okay now the re reduction of alkyl azides so alkyl azides they are the compound which are obtained from the alkyl halide on reaction with the sodium azide the sodium azide is the uh, compound which is used there in the air bags of automobiles right so the reaction take place between the alkyl halide and the sodium azide that form the ethyl azide then further uh, reaction with the alcohol that gives the primary amine so this reaction reduction of alkyl azide gives the primary amine there is a one more reaction which is uh, that which is a reduction of acyl azides so acyl azides and that reaction is known as the courteous reaction we have not mentioned it here here the courteous reaction in which the acyl azide you might know that what is acyl rco so rco cl that is acyl halide reaction with the, the sodium azide that gives the uh, isocyanide and which further on uh, hydrolysis that gives the primary amine basically the reaction of the alkyl azide or reduction of the acyl azide which is the uh, courteous rearrangement re reaction they give the primary amine now the gabriel synthesis so in the gabriel synthesis potassium thalamide is treated is reacted with the alkyl halide to produce the n alkyl thalamide so basically this potassium thalamide is obtained from the uh, alcoholic koh with the thalamide so when thalamide plus alcoholic koh they form the potassium thalamide and this uh, potassium thalamide on reaction with the alkyl halide it gives the n alkyl thalamide which further on hydrolyzed with the aqueous acid or base uh, it converted to primary amine so basically uh, this product is uh, hydrolyzed for example in this 20% of hydrochloric acid under pressure or reflux with potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide and that gives the primary amine so this method is suitable for the preparation of the aliphatic amines uh, and has a special advantage that only primary amines are formed without the uh, simultaneous formation of the secondary tertiary or the quaternary amines and why uh, the mixture is not forming over here because because in the thalidomide in the thalidomide it is only one replaceable hydrogen is there which is attached to the nitrogen and when this uh, potassium thalamide uh, is reacted with alcoholic koh it form the potassium thalamide which further on react to give the anethyl thalamide now the reduction of nitriles so nitriles they can be reduced by the lithium aluminum hydride to gives the primary amine we can also say that that this is the reduction of cyanide 
and that this reduction can be take place by the uh, hydrogen in the presence of catalyst or catalytic hydrogen take place or it may be uh, due to sodium or alcohol we can also use the sodium and alcohol or we can also use the lithium aluminum hydride so when we use the sodium and alcohol that reaction is known as the mendius reduction but here we are using the lithium aluminum hydride and that gives the primary amine so in case we are using the isocyanide this is the cyanide and if we are using the isocyanide so on reduction of the isocyanide they gives the secondary amine now the reduction of amide so amide yields the primary amines these are the amides conh2 so on uh, reduction with the lithium aluminum hydride they gives the amines and n methyl propenamide just like which is a n n substituted amide this is n substituted amide here it is only amide this is n substituted hydrogen is substituted with the methyl group so this is n substituted amide so when it reduced by the lithium aluminum hydride it gives the secondary amines and when n n di substituted amides it reduced by the lithium aluminum hydride it gives the tertiary amine and because these amides they are easily prepared this reduction method is the preferred method for making all class of the amines primary amine secondary amine and tertiary amine now reduction of the nitro compounds so uh, aromatic amines are normally prepared by the reduction of corresponding aromatic nitro compounds so these nitro compounds on reduction they yield the primary amines and this method is particularly useful for the preparation of the aromatic amines although this is the method for also aliphatic amines but it is a very popular method for the aromatic amines now the reduction which is taking place as we have seen that there we are talking about so many reductions so this these reduction they are uh, affected by various means because these reduction they are maybe a chemical reduction or maybe a catalytic hydrogenation right so just chemical reduction in which we use uh, the stannous chloride hydrochloric acid or uh, al alcoholic ammonium sulfide or the hydrogen which is a catalytic hydrogenation so both of the reduction we can use for the reduction of these uh, compounds just like the nitro compounds and here in the nitro compounds we are using the tin in the hydrochloric acid and that is the uh, we can also use the stannous chloride over here but we are using the tin and hydrochloric acid and that gives the primary amine which is aromatic primary amine that is aniline and when we are reducing an aliphatic nitro compound so we can use the lithium aluminum hydride which is a very good reducing agent and that gives a uh, aliphatic primary amine so for uh, the reduction of nitro compound aromatic nitro compound we, we use tin and scl or stannous chloride or uh, alcoholic ammonium sulfide we can also use number of uh, reducing agents to give the primary aromatic compounds and when we are reducing the uh, aliphatic nitro compounds so we can use the lithium aluminum hydride now the next is reductive amination of the aldehyde and ketone so aldehyde or ketones can be reduced by the catalytic or chemical reduction in the presence of ammonia ammonia or primary amines or secondary amine that produce the primary secondary or tertiary amine so the reaction of a ketone with the ammonia just like this is the ketone so with the ammonia followed by the catalytic reduction catalytic reduction by sodium cyanoborohydrate this is the sodium cyanoborohydrate and that gives the primary amines these primary amines they further react with the ketone same ketone and the catalytic reduction will take place in presence of uh, the sodium cyanoborohydrate that gives the secondary amine this secondary amine then again react with the ketone and the catalytic reduction take place in presence of or the reduction by the sodium uh, cyanoborohydrate only one reduction will take place catalytic reduction take place or you can use the sodium cyanoborohydride 
So finally, we will get the tertiary amine. So these are some of the reactions for the preparation of amines.